I want to build my own team. It is difficult though. It really is knowing who goes in what round, how to build it. It comes down to your, your first round pick. You want to pick in the top 10. Every time I do this, I never get a good pick. I'm picking 26 or 16. Like I want Herbert. I want even a guy like Joe Burrow, man. Lamar. Lamar's going to go like second but after Mahomes, I'd imagine. But come on, guys. Bless me right here. I'm going to let the scouts just do their thing. I'm not too concerned about it. Uh, we got our 60 sat points. So we're just going to start the fantasy draft. But I, I want that leak. Oh, okay, we're picking it eighth. Finally, Justin Herbert goes one for me. Crazy, right? Dang, that. Imagine if we had Herbert. Okay, so I'm going to look at quarterbacks. Could take Burrow. Burrow's star, 24, 86 throw power. I'm looking down at Trey Lance, who's superstar, 91 throw power, 87 speed. But, I mean, you don't take, you don't take Trey Lance eighth in a fantasy draft. I mean, like Jalen Ramsey's here, Miles Garrett's here. Tyreek Kill goes like 25th. Jair would be awesome. And then to this point, you know, you're looking at multiple more rounds until they go. This is where this is where it gets difficult because remember our pick next round is gonna be it's gonna be at the end. And I, I'd love to have Ramsey and Garrett, but those are moves to contend. You know, they're not they're not moves to to rebuild. They're just, they're some of the best players in, in the NFL, especially at their position. So I'm gonna go with Miles Garrett, I guess. And it was a good pick. He's uh, ranked at sixth. I mean, he's got 88 speed coming off the edge. Obviously, we know he's very strong. He just has, there's no weakness to him. So we start off with Miles Garrett. Now the question remains is, are, are Lance and Fields miraculously here? Okay, Fields is, is Lance here? Lance is gone. Okay, we kind of expected that. Uh, Justin Fields would be really cool. Star Dev. 92 throw power, 90 speed. Justin Fields is the perfect quarterback for me to play with. And he's also basically the perfect quarterback in real life. So, yeah, I mean, this is a no-brainer. We're taking Justin Fields. All right, so Garrett and Fields. And our next pick is going to be early. So I'm looking to take a running back next round in the fourth. So no running back here. I love to run the ball. So no Taylor, of course. Oh, I do want to go offensive line. Actually, I, I want Ward. I want, I'm going to go offensive line, though. Yeah, I'm going to go Panay so well. He's superstar. They're saying I reach. I don't really care. If Even if we wait, I mean, if we wait, he's gone. So it wasn't even a reach. Denzel Ward won before us. Could you imagine if we got Ward in the fourth round? But nonetheless, this is where we go running. Jonathan Taylor just sitting right at the top for me. Yeah, I'm taking Jonathan Taylor. I like to run the ball, and, you know, there's some really talented players here, but none of them are, are at the level of Jonathan Taylor. And, you know, of course, Najee Harris is down there, but Taylor is going to next season will be a 99 X Factor. So we'll take Taylor here. He's going to say I'm reaching. Oh, wait, no, it actually doesn't. Wow. Okay, I didn't expect that. I was thinking star running back in the fourth round. But AJ Thrill once again goes one before us. So... <laughs> All right, we'll scroll down here. I'm going to take him. Even though there's a lot of good receivers, and CeeDee Lamb, I don't get how he went down, but we're taking CeeDee Lamb here. They're saying I reach by five. It is what it is. Uh, let's just check in, look at our team. So Jonathan Taylor, CeeDee Lamb, Vanessa Well, Justin Fields. We went offense on four of the five first picks, and we were able to do that because we landed Miles Garrett. So... Man. I'm going to take uh, Antoine Winfield Jr. He does really well in Sim. He's a good player. So now I'm wondering, Noah Fant, did he get picked? He did not. Okay, that's huge. I think I might go Fant. Just get that speedy tight end. We're basically going all in on offense. Yeah, there's just not many defensive guys out here. 
Well, there's some young, young, speedy corners we could go to. Yeah, no fan is a no brainer. I don't know if he might be at this. Okay, 89 speed. I mean, he's so young. Offensively, we're pretty much set now. It's like we need a little bit more offensive line, but these are the picks we've really got to capitalize on. And uh, I see the perfect opportunity to do that in Jeremy Chin. The reason why I like Jeremy Chin is because he's 6'3". He's only 23, but he's got 93 speed. 81 hit power is pretty solid. I mean, Jeremy Chin, we can play him at safety. We can play him at linebacker. Just a tremendous pick. You know, obviously, you know, we're staying away from these veterans. Julio Jones is X Factor. He's still X Factor, isn't he? He's superstar now. Wow, Julio Jones went down to superstar. Uh, I think that's the right decision, of course. But uh, you know, CJ Gardner Johnson, I'm just, you know, he's 23. Go with 90 speed. Yeah, 90 speed. We could just go him. I'm just making sure that oh, Devontae Smith, DeAndre Swift. We got we could have Lamb and Smith. I actually wouldn't mind DeAndre Swift's my one of my favorite players in all football, too. I might take him just because I like him. Darnell Savage is a stud. Let me – okay, keep that in mind. Okay, Savage, Savage, free safety. Okay, so how many wide receivers are on the are on the level in the sense of age and ability? The answer is none. There's no one really close, in my opinion, at least. So I'm going to – you know, Brandon Ayuk, I guess. And I'm going to take Devonta, Devonta Smith. Yeah, I mean, 91 speed. His release is low, but it's kind of expected. Darnell Savage, another guy that does really well in sim. I mean, he's got 93 speed and 84 hit power. It's a good reason why. Only 24. So now I'm going to make, assuming Swift's here, I'm going to take him, even though it's a dumb pick because I have uh, Jonathan Taylor. Was I right? Uh, no, Swift's gone. Dang, I, DeAndre Swift's one of my favorite players. He's gone. I mean, we had no choice. We weren't, we weren't reaching for Swift right there. Um, It's okay. It's okay. I mean, Swift and Taylor would have been like, it wouldn't have made any sense, but it would have been so fun. I'm going to have to scroll down, but yeah, he's star as well, like 23. I like DJ Reed a lot too. Uh-oh, 10 seconds. Okay, I found him. Wow, I just passed by a lot of corners, CJ Henderson. All right, wow, I have hit these picks hard, bro. Like this draft, Kevin Dawson, star, the latest Steelers, he's pretty good. The highest overall we can. Just keep scrolling down. Like, you know, right now, you, we're not going to take a receiver right now, but Jerome Baker is 24, right? Yeah, he's 24 normal, though. Not 89 speed at linebacker would be pretty cool, but he's normal. We can't take him. Yeah, Henry Ruggs, I don't really want him. You know, he's so talented and and young, but... Yeah, we're getting... Like, I don't want a receiver right now, even though I love some of these guys. Yeah, Ashton Davis, 24, 92 speed. Could take him, but... Jeff Akuda's normal, right? Oh, Jeff Akuda is star. Yeah, I think it's a little bit early for Akuda, though. Hmm. Eh. I'll take him. He's he's 22. They said it was a good pick. And it's like, you know, do we just take Ash? I guess I, I guess we'll take Ashton Davis. I, I don't see any other value in these picks. Like, we'll go with Ashton Davis. 24 years old with 92 speed, 82 hit power. Really good user. Look at these guys that like right now, man. And, and compare them to the age and talent of a guy like Kadarius Tony. I mean, Ruggs, obviously, we know he's in that range. But outside of that, like, there's just no one close. This might be seen as a reach. Well, unless if in real life, no. But, I mean, that, that's actually a huge pick right there. Tony and Tony in the the uh, 14 around is insane. I think I might make one more pick and get out of here. Sean, I love Rashad Penny, dude. He's so talented. I don't know how he does that. I guess it normally makes sense because of the injuries and stuff. But he's got all the talent in the world. Yeah, I'm taking Eric Stokes. I mean, he would have gone way before this if this was actually a real user draft. I mean, he's 22 with 95 speed. They don't even call it a reach. Yeah, that's a good pick. I think that's a good way to end it. If we want to spice it up, we could also take Garrett and trade him for a bunch of picks. But, yeah, offensive line is straight garbage, which we knew. I'm going to go after that in the draft. Uh, and then you can see, like, Tony's our third. Uh, Taylor, Fields. Like, Davis, a. Hey. There's our there's our third down back. At JV and Hawkins, I, I do like him. He's dope. He's dope. Okay. Defense. Oh uh, yeah, our front. We knew that Danico Audrey was a sneaky pickup in the later rounds. He's older, but and you and we have Miles Garrett on there, who's making he's basically two people. So Ashton Davis is gonna go up. 
there's weaknesses, man, but we've got three first round picks, which is going to be huge. So the draft class that's random and random draft classes, like this guy at the top could be normal dad. Like it's so dumb. I don't, I just don't get that, but we're five and two. We're winning. Uh, let's go over to just line up. And we have so many hidden guys. We know their star, but it's like, I don't expect much here. So, well, okay. So well's gotten his super star. Everyone's gotten besides Tony and Smith, everyone's gotten their hiddens. And we, we've got two in so well, uh, absolutely pass protector. A lot of these young linemen, they just they need a little bit of pass protection upgrade. So we'll just do that for him. He's up to an 80. I mean, superstar alignment in the third round, is that's good. We want elusive. Once we get him up to 95 elusive, we can start working on receiving because I do plan to use Taylor a lot out of the backfield as a receiver. Fields is 10th in passing, 3rd in touchdowns, 23rd in passing rating. Jonathan Taylor, 5th in rushing, despite a horrible offensive line. And CeeDee Lamb, 7th in receiving. Okay, that's what we like to see. CeeDee's not even in the slot, and he's balling out. All right, how's Fields? Fields is, Fields is actually having a really good year. Taylor, 4.8 yards per carry, which is lower than he did in real life. But again, the offensive line is just so bad. CeeDee Lamb, pretty good. Defense. Jeremy Chin is that dude. He's going to go up to Superstar Savage and has a chance. Yeah, Jeremy Chin is, he's just, he's a menace out there for real. We have so much salary though because it's fantasy. We went, we went 11 and 6, didn't win the division, which sucks, but it's okay. We're going to have a lot of upgrades here. But also, without Miles Garrett, I'd imagine we would have lost significantly more amount of games. Probably the reason we're here. Uh, once again, now Taylor, he doesn't even have superstar, I know, but once we get him up to that, he's now one away, plus one speed. He's one away from human joystick, and he just got 95 speed. Jonathan Taylor, is he's a freak, bro. He's, he's, he's certainly that dude. Deep threat. Hoping he goes up to superstar. He gets a plus one release. What's his release? It's got to be in the 80s, right? 87, oh my god. We'll up three of morale, but interesting. Here we go next week. Can we beat the Vikings? I have no idea who's on their roster. We lose. Okay. My contract got extended, which is cool. Uh, so at this point, you know, we could take a look at the teams whose picks we had, see how they did, but I'm just ready to go to the offseason. At least hopefully we have at least one top 10 pick. We're picking 12. Okay. It is what it is. All right. Let's get ahead in the draft. Advance to the next user pick. All right, we will pick a player. I'm starting to kind of panic a little bit here. Not liking those Cs. I am going to pause the draft, man. 23. Oh, my God. Look at this. Bro, oh, my goodness. Bench press, he was ninth, which frightens me. But, I mean, look at this combine. And we need offensive line. He is 23 for rookie. He's not, like, so well coming in at 21, but... Elite, elite. Oh my god, this guy's a insane, bro. He's hidden. Okay, he could be he literally could be superstar. E4 acceleration for an offense alignment, 87 strength. What a pick. Oh yeah. I love what I'm seeing out of this guy. C block shed, not the greatest, but I mean overall, I mean you look at bench press is first, so he's strong. Broad jump. First and 20 yard shuttle, which matters. On his college pro day, at least. Right now, Jerry Waddell is number one on my list. This guy does look good. He does look good, man. I mean, good, good, elite, solid, elite, good. C tackle. He, ah, two, two talented defensive tackles, man. Dude, I see A, A, B. I, I, I think we might have to take this guy. He has C tackle, but like... I mean, great, 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 elite solid. I think I'm going to take this guy. Let's see what happens here. Oh, well, that, damn it. Bad pick. 78 speed. Ooh, I made a bad pick. I don't know. He looked good to me. One more look at him. Normal. Both are normal? How? Oh, that sucks. That really does suck. 
This kind of looks really good. Take him, I guess. All right, guys. I looked at this guy's combine. It was good. I took a chance. He's a uh, star better. Kind of makes up for our past two, I guess. And good comes out of this. I I have I don't think so, but yeah, he's normal depth. 90 strength. Oh well. If we're gonna take a chance, take a chance in offensive line or defensive tackles, which we did. I don't, even the Bucks win the Super Bowl. I really don't care. Maybe they have like a veteran. He's gonna regress. Let's take a look at the contract details. It'll give you a sense of who we brought in. So we brought in Teddy Kyle, of course, star better. Then I brought in Devon Farley, who ended up being a failure. Keen Ware, both young, you know, early 20 run stoppers. It just didn't work out. Uh, and then we took Donnell Dockery, who's a safety star better. Uh, Tony Diaz and uh, was our last pick. He was he was not that great. He's strong though. And of course, you know, offensive linemen, they can't gain any trades, so they're stuck at star or they're stuck at normal. And then you've got like Andrew North. Kind of why we would take a tight end when we have. I mean, I guess you need kind of need two tight ends, but yeah. So overall, uh, we can't rule out star better players later in the draft because it's a random class. But I basically didn't. I, I wouldn't say I did a good or a bad job. It was kind of like, I guess like it was kind of subpar being real with you. But uh, we will take a look at the adjust lineup. Uh, I haven't even. We'll see. So Taylor wanted a superstar, right? Taylor. Okay, so Taylor Fields and Smith. All went up to superstar, Lamb star, Tony star. Kyle, he could be superstar. Don't let the 72 deceive you. Defensively, let's take a look. Savage went up to superstar. I'm surprised Winfield did not. Uh, Henderson should be able to get Acrobat. Remember, he's only 23. Yeah, he gets Acrobat. And then right here, I'm going to go with Bulldozer. Justin Fields. We need to get him up. Even he's superstar, which is going to help us. But for his abilities, I mean, we're looking at quick draw, and then pocket dead eye. I, I really don't want to be running around too much with Fields. Try to stay in the pocket as much as I can. And how about this man, Devonta Smith? Who would have thought that he would progress more than C. Lane? I, I certainly didn't. Maybe you guys did, but uh, okay, we will put on route tech. Uh, and Jonathan Taylor, this is a big upgrade, man. That's because that gives him now ninety five elusive, so we can put human joystick on him, which I've never. I don't think I've ever even used that. I'm not going to lie. Wait, that is, oh, my God. Okay, Taylor, see what he brings. Stop. I'll just start share. Yeah, I started off with a little run. Jonathan Taylor. There's that speed. He's going to try. Oh, my God. He runs a guy over. Number 23. Is that um, Duggar? Who was that? First down. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor. Man, he's too good. Let's, uh, for some strange reason, we don't have Dev Devonta Smith on the field right now. Ready for this? Oh, Fields, look at that low throw. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be caught. See that that's the thing. Like once Fields yes, yeah, I mean it was his own coverage. But once Fields gets escape artist and like gunslinger, he's gonna be a little unstoppable. But I mean, right there, I was able to go to the pocket and just it just extended the play. Oh, what, what a throw. How about Noah Fant? That's why we brought him in here. What did we get him in the sixth, seventh round? It's gonna be a first down for Fant. You you just want speed, man. It's like you want speed all over the field. You want to mix it in so that they can't just sit back in coverage. We've got see Jonathan Taylor. This is a good player here. Taylor's still in, so we're just gonna see see. All right, we got guys moving around. Oh yeah, Smith. Look at that throw. Oh my God, touchdown! Easy as that. I mean, I know it's the computer, but it's just, even if I was playing a real player, I mean, just I was. Fan. It's going to be a third and short, a third and three about. That's what we are looking for. Yeah, third and three. So right here, you know, we could give it to Jonathan Taylor, but I mean, why would I, you know, why wouldn't I throw it? I mean, we've got Taylor and Tony. We're going to go to Taylor. Got him. Get to the outside. Ooh, okay. Picks up the first down. Not known for his route running. So, so this is where we do run to the outside because we want to mix it in. We don't just want to throw every play. Taylor on a little bit. Oh, yeah. Taylor. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. Jonathan Taylor. He's going maybe all the way hurdling. Taylor on his feet. First down. What a run. Jonathan Taylor, man. Unbelievable. And now that we just had a run, you know, the defense could be thinking they're going to go right back into Taylor. But now we're just going to hit him with a play action. Smith, wait for him. He's wide open. Back corner end zone. Devonta Smith, touchdown. He's on the Eagles in real life. He's balling out. This Philly crowd is getting into it. I mean, he is just... 
on a different level, man. He won the Heisman, of course. Away from the run game, we could probably throw every play and be fine, but, you know, we're just going to hit a little bit of HP stretch. Taylor trucking. Oh, my God, just throws Tra Trayvon Diggs off of him. Trayvon Diggs? I keep saying Trayvon, Trayvon Diggs. I mean, that, that, I mean, running it on third and one is always good, especially if you're going for a first. At least we, you know, if we had thrown the completion, it would have been kind of stupid. All right. Oh, no, I messed that up. I, I mean, I had him wide open, man. I tried to low throw it and just and aimed it the wrong way. That's stupid, man. That's frustrating on my part, 100% there. That's tough. It's okay. We got Smith's going to get wide open again. He's going to be like, it's okay. Just don't, don't do it again. Right, here we go. No Smith on the field. He's got a first down. And the way they're aligned, I just uh, I, I'm gonna hit Smith here. I, I know like I don't like to just look for one guy. Yeah, he's gonna be wide open. <laughs> it's like, why would I not throw it down? He's gonna stay in bounds. Oh, I almost was able to stay in bounds, but I had one man to beat. Devonta Smith, like I know he's good, but I mean when I guess it's when he has a quarterback it's the end of video game but like dang this is kind of crazy uh and you know I, of course i want to get taylor and more receiving work so like boom the middle just has a truck truck and he's in oh wow he's gonna be two yards short and now we can we can just hand him the ball here inside zone run i, I might even just be able to dive in here taylor diving in touchdown football if he's running you know like that he's not going to be able to just turn back but Oh, I'm gonna try to leave him up the sideline. That's who else than Devonta Smith. We could either go. For, we actually probably could pick up this first down. I'm just gonna have. I'm just gonna. We need Taylor in pass protection. Uh oh. Uh oh. Here we go. Oh. Another pick. Uh oh. This could be trouble. This could be big trouble. No way. He runs that back. Their first point of the game is a pick six. I hate how the corner turns back, bro. Like, how are you – like, imagine you're playing corner, right, and someone's running, and you're, like, you're running with them, and, like, your your eyes are on them. And, of course, like, you see when their head turns to look at the football, you you got to look back or it's going to be pass interference. It's just – it's mad so dumb. Like, we all know that, but – Is that a linebacker out there? What a catch by Smith. Oh, my. That was probably easily his best catch. Yeah, I think that was a linebacker that was out there in coverage. Maybe they're not even falling for the play action. I'm going to lob this. Oh, God. Smith, can you make it another amazing catch? He got two feet down. Devonta Smith. Oh, my goodness, bro. Dude, I'm going to send Taylor on a uh, – this dude, he should be wide open. What the heck? Boom. Block me. Oh, my God. Devonta Smith. Bro, I feel like he's Cooper Cup right now. Is this how Cooper Cup feels when he plays football? I mean, this is unbelievable. Man, I was talking so much trash. Justin Tyler makes it look easy. Yeah, I feel like I haven't thrown the Lamb or Tony, like, at all. It's weird. I'm looking for Smith again. <laughs> First down into my playbook. Taylor up the middle. Still going. He's going to pick up a six on that. Yeah, let me go back and save that play. This would be like a really good play to call if they're just, if you know, like try to get them guessing if we're running right, running left. All right, they're definitely in zone, of course. This mesh route, see if we can. Give me a block. Give me a block. Ooh. Back up. Come on, man. We drafted you. You can't even block your franchise quarterback. First down, though. <laughs> Crazy route, dude. I could probably low throw this. Ready for... Oh, my God. What a throw. By oh, we need three yards. A little HB toss to Taylor. The way they're set up, dude. Oh, my God. Just no, no protection at all. They, sh they shed that instantly. Damn. Yeah, just a nice little out. Uh, it's going to be tough. Window, oh, no, he's got him. That's CD Lamb. <laughs> Let's go. Evan, four touchdowns, two picks. 
Jonathan Taylor goes 14 for 79, 5.6 yards per carry and a touchdown. Receiving Devonta Smith, 12 for 222 and three touchdowns. Darren Wall or whatever. Uh, Noah Fant, 4 for 74. And CeeDee Lamb, just, just two catches for 14 yards. But he did have that late touchdown. So fantasy owners were definitely happy about that late. I'm sure they weren't happy, but the late touchdown saved his day. Today's today's Tuesday. So you guys will be watching this on Wednesday. If you made it to the end, go down in the comment section and and say sick, bro. Just say, just say six. If you're wondering why, it should not come to any sort of surprise. Devonta Smith. <laughs> Six. It's right six randomly. And people are gonna be like, why are they writing six? And be like, oh, that's why. Peace out, guys. Have a good one. Later.